What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this motion tile inside of Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't know what motion tile is, it's pretty much an effect in After Effects where it replicates your video across the screen in like a seamless kind of way. So yeah, in After Effects, there's an effect called motion tile that pretty much is meant for this. And for some reason, we don't have that Premiere Pro, which honestly sucks because it's like the best effect in After Effects, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's also like one of the most commonly used ones among like all the editors. I feel like a lot of people actually use that effect. And yeah, it's just not in Premiere Pro. So I had to go ahead and make my own motion tiles. So I'm just going to break it down super quickly for you guys on how to create this. So the first effect we're going to apply is called replicate. Just bring it onto your video clip and change the count to three. And already, as you can see, it replicates your video. But if you zoom out, it is not creating that seamless effect. So to fix that, we're going to go back up here to the effects and search up mirror, which is underneath the distort. Bring that onto that video layer as well. Now, if you select that mirror effect, you'll see this like a little blue thing that shows up on your video. And what you can do is actually drag this. And what we're going to do is pretty much align it on the edge of our mirror or our replicate that we applied earlier. So as you can see, you just want to drag it so it aligns with the original video and hides that, I guess, seam. And this is pretty much the effect we're going for is that replicated video, which you can hardly even tell that there is kind of that seam in the replicate. If I turn this off, you can see the before and after. So let's just go ahead and duplicate this effect. You can just hit Control C, Control V. So to do this on the other side, we're going to change this angle to 180 and then just drag this so it aligns on the left side. Duplicate this again and we're going to change the angle to 90. So now we can do this to the bottom and then duplicate it one more time for the top and change this to negative 90 and then just drag it up so it aligns with the uh, top of our screen. And there you go. Now your video should be replicated. Let's just scale this back up to 100. And the last effect we're going to apply is transform. Bring this onto that layer and scale this up to 300. Uh, for me, it's 300. I'm pretty sure it should be 300 for any of your video layers. But if it's not, then just scale it up till the original video like fills your frame. If you play it back, you won't even realize that you have this motion tile applied onto your video, which is pretty much the goal. And then if you zoom out, you'll see you have the motion tile there. So this pretty much allows you to create all the effects that you were creating in After Effects or almost, but you can kind of have fun with the motion tile and kind of get away with more things by creating different effects and transitions. A quick example of how I would use this effect is by going to the transform here and creating a keyframe on the position and then going to the end of our first clip and moving the position over to the side of this video layer and then creating just a quick little ease in with our keyframes here and then making sure our shutter angle is at 360 and then just do that same thing for the next video but have the position start from the left side and then just end on the middle of the video and then do that same thing for the keyframes easy ease those and shutter angle is at 360 and now we have a super clean transition from our one clip to the other one which is something i always do in after effects but never could really do in premiere pro without having that motion tile so now that i have that you can get really creative with different transitions but yeah then you could just go ahead and select all these effects here and then right click them and hit save preset and name it to whatever you like and then just hit OK and it'll go up into these effects here and you can literally just drag and drop this motion tile onto your videos. Hopefully this helps you guys and if you're trying to figure out how to do this or you just learned something new and you're going to start using this effect then make sure to drop a like if this helped you and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.